This circuit board inspection procedure may fix other similar operational opener issues without having to replace the logic board. Please continue watching. Does your garage door opener only work with the remote with the garage door light off? But if the light is on, it won't work. So if I go over and turn the switch off, the light switch, lights off, now the remote works. Now it doesn't work. So for me to try to fix this, I have to pull the operator down and you can see my garage has a low ceiling. So it's tucked up under here. I believe yours will be much easier to get to, more like my other garage door. This is my other garage door opener, which is fine, no problems but it's much easier to get to the circuit board on this one than it will be on the other one. Remove the side panel. Remove these upper screws from this black panel. It'll drop down and then you can just remove that connector. So here's the back panel out. It's a circuit board. I'm going to inspect it for bad solder connections and look at some capacitors. So the next thing to do is remove the circuit board. So you want to look it over for fractured solder con connections or just bad solder joints in general. And this one looked pretty good. Sometimes they do see a lot of vibration and they could be broke. I looked at these under magnification, they all look pretty good, so I don't think it's a solder connection. So the next thing I did is look at the capacitors and these electrolytics, these big guys here, looking to see if they're bulged out or leaking of any sort. Then I measured on the back side in the circuit capacitance, they were all what they should be or close. This one here wasn't measuring what it was supposed to be, so I took it out of the circuit and measured it, and it was still low. Looks like also it's been getting a little hot sitting next to this guy here, so I'm going to replace it. It's uh, measuring really low. So I removed the capacitor. It's a 330 microfarad 35 volt. I'm replacing it with the same 330 microfarad 35 volt. You want to make sure that you... Don't put a lower voltage rated cap in there. The microfarads can be the same or greater. That's that's fine. I bought these this kit on Amazon for about 20 bucks. And it has what I need to replace this. Okay, so I'm gonna place it in there. Make sure you get the polarity right. You don't want to put it in backwards. There we go. So I clipped the leads off. New ones installed. And we're ready to try it out. So like normal, the lights off. Push the button. Opens the door, turns the light on. Before, with the light on, the remote wouldn't work. Now it works fine. 
with or without the light on. Works like normal. Works now.